Hi everyone, it's Danielle. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a sit down thrift haul with you. I have tons of good things that I can't wait to show you. And then I also have a huge lot of items that I won the bid on in an online estate sale. So I'll be showing you those as well. So let's go ahead and jump into today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and start with all of the thrift store purchases and then I'll do the big lot of items that I got from the online estate sale because there's a few small furniture pieces and I'm gonna have to like cut to a clip of me showing those. So I'm just gonna get this stuff out of the way. I'll start with this little bundle of items here. I ordered a bundle of silhouettes, like framed silhouettes off of someone on Instagram where she sells like antique things and vintage items. Her username is My Little Antique Home. I think I'll have it linked down below so you can check her out if you want. But I got all of these for $25. Super, super excited about these. Um, I've been wanting to do a little gallery wall in my bedroom, so that's probably where most of these will go. So here's the first one. This is one where the silhouette's on the actual glass. I think it's so pretty. I love horse and carriage silhouettes. And it has a little hanger up top here. And there's one more. They're slightly different. Let me show you them side by side. They're super pretty. This one still has the sticker. It says Dover Stagecoach, um, CNA Richards, Boston, Massachusetts. So those two are the only round ones. Then there are these, the cutest little girl. And then there's a boy playing violin. Look at his little dog watching, that's so cute. These are signed, they're reproduction, but this is signed B, Germer, G, nope, don't know. <laughs> there's a signature down there. And then these two are my favorite. So cute is the girl. And then the boy. And these are a decent size, as you can see, like these are a little smaller. And then those oval ones are small. And then there's a bigger one. Look at this fancy lady. What is she doing? Opening the curtains? I'm not sure, but I love this. Um, this is obviously gonna be the center of the gallery wall. And it's signed. RM Jawit 39. Um, I'm not sure if this one is actually from 39. I don't think so because it has stickers on the back. And then there's these two tiny ones. I need to retape this one because it's on the glass as well and the back is falling off a bit. There's this little guy here. And then this guy. So I got all of those for $25. I think that's a great deal. Okay, and then I also have a couple of things here from an antique mall. I got this, I don't know what it is, but it was only, I think, a dollar something, or maybe two dollars. Um, it looks like some sort of stamp or press here, maybe it's for butter. And it has a little hole that someone put here, so I thought this would be perfect for hanging off of my little kitchen rods. And then I got these because I don't have anything like this to serve like salads or something, and I love that they were wood. And we always do Thanksgiving here and Christmas, so. I thought these would come in handy. They were also, I think, $2, like $2 and some change. And then I got this piece. Ignore the drawing on it because I was trying to practice drawing a leaf. Uh, but it's this little chalkboard, and it has this little piece here. I have this. I need to get a skinny piece of chalk, but I only have this sidewalk chalk. Um, but yeah, this was cool. It was actually on sale. I don't even remember how much it was after the discount, but it was 25% off. And I tied this twine on here because I was playing around with it when I was doing my fall decor. But it has these two little holes to hang it from. I just thought it was neat. Very, um, like, primitive school days. And then I grabbed this. It was only a dollar. I have a DIY that I want to do. I want to make one of those, um, like, spindle boxes with this as the handle, so... That's why I got that. I grabbed this from a random thrift store that I found the other day. It was only $3. You may have seen this in my fall entryway, Decorate With Me. I did take it down and do something different because I love this. I love the ducks, but it's just so bright. It wasn't working with the rest of my decor, especially with all these blues coming through. So I may resell it, or I don't know, I might hold on to it. I haven't decided yet, but I just love these little ducks. They're so pretty. So if you follow me on Instagram, I posted um, in a story that I have 
randomly started a collection of vintage horse themed items. I love horses, they're my second favorite animal. We had them when I was young. Um, I just love them so much. So I guess that could explain it a little bit, but it just kind of came out of nowhere when I found this piece here. I found this at a thrift store. And when I walked in, they said everything that they, cause they were new, I've never been there before. They said um, everything they make goes to their animal rescue or dog rescue group. <laughs> Why was that so hard to say? And I thought, oh my gosh, I have found my people. So this was $5 and I did purchase something else, but it's a Christmas item. So I set that aside for my Christmas haul. Um, but I went ahead and got this because it goes to the dogs and I think it's so pretty. Look at that beautiful horse. I love the colors. I just think it's amazing. The frame has some scuffs, of course, but I absolutely love it. So like I said, this sort of inspired me to want to have like a small collection of vintage horse items. So I also found this cast iron horse. I believe this might have been a bookend or a doorstop because he doesn't stand, he will stand, but it's a little wobbly. And then you can see on the bottom where it looks like it was attached to another like iron piece right here where it would have stood up on. So I'm not really sure. He also has holes right here. I don't know, maybe it was a big piece, um, but I love it. Isn't it so cool? So that is the second horse themed item. Then I saw this on Mercari. It's a like a reselling website and I had to have it. It wasn't a cheap price, but I loved it. It's one of those old Oxford marmalade crocs, kind of like the Dundee jars, but this one has beautiful, majestic horses all over it. They're even on the lid. I just think it is so cute. I cannot wait to do a vignette filled with all of the vintage horse things that I find. I'm just in love. And then I also have an old antique book of Black Beauty, and it has a picture of the horse on the cover so that would go in with this stuff as well next i found this crock and it does have a chip in it so i have to be careful it was four dollars um i wanted to ask them to come down on it but by the time i got up there i was just like whatever i don't like confrontation and i don't want to be told no i think it's so awkward so i just purchased it but it does have a chip in it if you can see right there but just a cool crock i could use it for utensils or a plant really anything so there's that and then from that same store I got this came with two of them and I have one on my nightstand you may have seen it in my living room decorate with me video but it was two dollars for the pair and it's just this really pretty I guess kind of like table scarf I think it's so so beautiful so I got that, and then these napkins were the set of four for $2, and I love this beautiful sage green color. I am gonna soak all of the linens that I'm showing in an OxyClean bath, because these do have a few little spots on them. But aren't those so pretty? They're gonna be beautiful in the spring and summer with that sage green that I love. I have a little bundle of items here that I got from a thrift store where they just price everything up at the front, and it was $3 and some change for all this stuff. So I got this black book. Been loving collecting vintage black books and mixing in some black accents. This one says, The Way Things Work, volume two. Oh, I guess Simon and Schuster really think they know how everything works. And this one was printed in 1971. I don't even know, oh, it's kind of like a, a just a manual on how things work. <laughs> kind of like the show how it's made, but it just shows different things and how it's made. Moving on. I grabbed this little homemade sign. Um, this looks like something that would be from like the Target dollar spot or something, but like I said, all this stuff was like $3 and some change, um, and I knew they were really cheap there, so I just threw it in. But I just thought it would look cute maybe in like a vignette or to fill in some space. I like to hang little signs by my coffee machine. There's like a really small space on that wall that looks really bare. So I got that. And then I found this, another Better Homes and Garden like binder book. I mentioned in a previous thrift with me, I found this sewing book and I had no idea about these. I've never seen this one either. So I kind of want to just collect all the ones I find. So I have the garden book with the really beautiful 
vibrant like colors and flowers I have the red and white cookbook that everybody has and then I just got the sewing book and now I have this one I think it's so cool it says 1975 here on the inside let me try to find a page that's just like super 70s I mean this one look at this can you imagine your home looking like this that's just like the funnest time ever so I was super excited to find this. Okay, and then I have some linens from that store as well. I got four of these really pretty napkins with this kind of brown flower detail, lacy detail on the edge. Super pretty for layering or draping out of things. I'm thinking about putting this one in my eBay shop. It is a little dresser scarf or small table runner. I don't do yellow, but I thought it was so pretty. Isn't that so beautiful? Little flowers. And then I got this one. Another really pretty green. This one's a lot brighter. I just think that's so beautiful. Once again, going to look really pretty in the spring and summertime. So all that stuff was three something, like I said. Okay. And then I have a few more thrift store items and we'll move on to the estate sale. So recently in a thrift with me, I found a bowl just like this, but the handle was much more orange and I had mentioned that I didn't really like that. And then I found this one a few days later, it was $1.99. Here's the stamp on the bottom. I'm just loving these, I think they're so pretty. So I'm gonna switch this one out and possibly resell the other one. Um, on eBay. I'd like to find a bigger one actually. Then I have two books. I got this. I really don't know how much um, these three things that I'm showing were all also three dollars and some change. So there's this green cookbook. I thought it would be pretty for Christmas time. This is the family cookbook. Can you see that? And it says 1962 edition. Just a really cool cookbook. I liked all the illustrations on the inside. So I may even display this open. And then there's also some cool like actual printed photos in there. So, nice thick book. And then they had a stack of free Bibles um, up by the register. And I didn't wanna be that person that takes all the Bibles, especially if someone needs it. So I just grabbed the oldest one that I could see. And it's this little black one here. And it actually says 1906, which is amazing. It has someone's, I think it's from London. It has someone's signature on the inside there. And then, yeah, it says Cambridge something London. Anyways, I did go through it and, oh, here's another one. I thought I got them all out. There was um, a few pages that have these like old, can ew, <laughs> foil candy wrappers in here and they've left staining from where like, I guess the chocolate was or just maybe the dye. And I thought I shook all of them out. But then there was another, here we go. They have this like bookmark in here. I love finding old like ephemera like this. I think it's amazing. You can pause that and read it. I just thought that was really pretty. So I definitely think I picked the best one out of this stack. I'm super surprised that this is from 1906. I love that. Oops, I don't like to set things on the Bible. Comment down below if you were also raised to not set anything on top of the Bible. I don't know why, I guess out of respect. Um, okay, and then the last item from thrift stores, this is from Goodwill. I found this adorable little stool, it was $4.99. Um, but I loved the legs. I just thought it would be really cool um, maybe to put on the fireplace with a plant on it or something. It does have a nursery rhyme on it. You can't really read it. Um, it has like a cow, a pig, just like nursery rhyme characters, a little Humpty Dumpty. And then it says, this little stool is mine. I use it all the time to reach the things I couldn't and lots of things I shouldn't. That's really cute. Um, I figured it would be covered up most of the time though. So anyways cool little stool okay now I'm gonna move on to the estate sale lot so I donated a bunch of junk that came in the lot and then these are just the things that I'm keeping or gonna try to resell there's this little milk glass I guess candy dish or something it's really pretty it has all these little flowers on it luckily it doesn't have grapes I'm not into that at all I don't have many milk pieces so um, I think I'm going to try to gather all the ones I do have and use them around Christmas time. 
and then there's this little I forget what this is called or what it was for I don't know if it's Fenton or what but it's just a little hobnail like ruffled edge so cute this would look cute with little tiny vintage Christmas ornaments in it and there was this I'm thinking about listing on my eBay I looked these things up and now I can't remember the name of any of them and then there was actually four of these I already resold one on eBay I haven't listed another one I'm thinking about keeping two and then selling the other one this one has a ton of crazing on the inside so I thought that was really cool and then here this one you can see the stamp better just really pretty I love turquoise teal transferware I think it's so beautiful I have a few pieces um, that I think I'm going to pull out for the summertime next year. Okay, and then it came with a ton of vintage glass bottles, jar like medicine bottles and stuff like that. So I'm going to try to go through them really quickly because I think there's like 18 of them here. I did wash these. I soaked them all in like soap water, cleaned them the best I could, disinfected the outside and stuff. But there's some that are so gross on the inside. I didn't have one of those bottle brush cleaners. Um, so I need to go to the store and get one of those and then try to clean them better. There's a few in this really pretty frosted blue color. These are going to be so pretty in the springtime. I am going to be keeping these and I'm not sure what was in it, but it's pretty cool. And there is this here. This one is really dirty and it needs to be cleaned on the inside. I had some. Um, I sprayed like disinfectant in it. And then this one actually says... The A1 sauce, I'm not sure it's going to show up, but it says it right here. So that's kind of cool. I love A1. It's like my favorite condiment. I could drink it. Not really, but I do really love it. And then this is the last kind of bluish green tinted one. This one says Dr. W.B. Caldwell's laxative. Cool. And there's two of these, I'm assuming... Um, like liquor bottles of some sort nice big size I might resell those because or keep one and resell the other I'm thinking about making small lots of the ones that I'm not going to keep this says old Quaker um, isn't Quaker like an oatmeal I don't know but it's cool it has a little Quaker man on there it's going to be really hard to see there's two of these smaller liquor bottles here so once again, I may keep one. I kind of like this one. It's also dirty, but I kind of like how cloudy it is. So I'll probably keep this one and then add this one to a lot. This is an old Heinz 57 ketchup bottle. I thought that was neat. This is one that has gross stuff in it. It says Raleigh's trademark. I have a smaller version with the same name on it. So I'm not sure what was inside of it, but... As you can see, there's like gross stuff in there. I don't even want to look at it. <laughs> this one has such a cool shape up here. Like I wish this one had the corks. I think it would look so cool, but just a skinny little bottle. I'll probably keep this one just because I like the shape of it so much. There were two of these tiny ones here. There's actually another one that I have in my decor, but it still has the label. It says garlic salt on it. And then it had, let me just get it. <laughs> so it's this here. See, it says garlic and then John Wagner and Sons and I love that it still has the top like a little rubber seal glass top so I feel like that's what these were maybe maybe not but they look similar and then here's another just little bottle it says Dr. D. Jane and Son Incorporated Philadelphia USA I thought this one would look cool and I want to try to do like a Halloween display using things that I already have not like a spooky Halloween but just like kind of like Halloween colored um, vignette and I think this would look cool maybe with some feathers sticking out of it and then the last two are these little blue ones here this is just like a cobalt blue it says Emerson Drug Co and then I think this one's really neat it's a lighter blue it says Milk of Magnesia so those are all the bottles that it came with now I'm going to cut to a clip where I show you the furniture pieces. There's like two little nightstand type things, a mirror, and then these crates, which I love. So let's go ahead and I will show you those really quick. 
So you have to remember that all these things came in a giant lot and once you bid on it, you have to take everything. So some of these items I wasn't necessarily interested in and I was just gonna figure out what to do with them. So it came with this giant box of amber glass and green glass beer bottles. I did get rid of this just because most of them weren't super vintage and I wasn't gonna use them. Um, but I guess it's still cool to look through. And then it also came with this box of mason jars. I'm not familiar with this brand. I don't think they are particularly old, so I did get rid of these as well. And then I love these two crates. This one is, I'm assuming they're both like beer crates or liquor crates of some sort. This one I might, I might do a DIY on or stain it and then use it to kind of ground decor. I have a similar one that I use in the kitchen quite often. And then I loved this one. Look at the color. It's like a really light mint green. It says Remington and I just think it's beautiful. It has some paint splatters. Um, I feel like you just can't mimic this patina. So I think this is going to look so great in the springtime. I'm super excited to style it when that time comes around. And then I also think it matches really well with those minty green frosted um, antique bottles I just showed you in the clips before. So I'll be keeping that as well. This piece I might donate. It does look handmade. I just don't have room for it. I thought maybe we could find a spot in the garage for it to like use it to organize and stuff. But um, probably not. I'll probably just donate it. And then it also came with this little nightstand. I'm thinking about painting this a matte black. I do like the little metal knob that it has there. I don't necessarily have a spot for it, but I like it enough that I might just give it a makeover and set it aside if I ever need it in the future. And then it also came with this giant mirror, similar to the one that I have here in the living room that I found on the curb and I like made over. So if it measures up to be any bigger than the one here in the living room, I'll probably switch those out and then just donate back the other one that I have on the wall. And that is gonna be it for today's thrift haul. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for joining me. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're not yet subscribed, I hope you do so. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.